this story here is an amazing uh, uh, kind of biographical reenactment of Papua New Guinea's uh, history, uh, whether through uh, colonialism or uh, post-colonialism. And so we found uh, that if you, if you, if you handpick these people who were somehow involved with one hand trying to create a country with William McGregor or Hubert Murray or Donald Clellan and the post uh, 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 war leadership amongst Papua New Guineans, nationalities, what you find uh, is a, a kind of strong belief that somehow culture and history provided a foundation for how a people and a nation imagine itself. So this is what we are trying to uh, sort of retell and remind us of uh, where we came from. And Tonight is also about celebrating the strong and deep cultural links that exist between Papua New Guinea and Australia. This relationship, including the links between the National Museum Art Gallery and Australia, have been long and strong. Last week we were very pleased to announce a new package of support to the National Museum and Art Gallery. And this is part of Australia's contrib contribution to mark Papua New Guinea's 40th anniversary of independence. The support includes the establishment of a new partnership between the museum here and Australia's national cultural institutions, the National Gallery of Australia, the National Museum and the Australian War Memorial. It is important that we preserve our culture. A country without culture and history is a country without any future. Papua New Guinea is a country of many tribes, many cultures. But one thing that has held us together is the diversity of our traditions and the belief of many of our cultural practices throughout the country that has held the communities together for thousands of years. I know that everybody says that we are 40 years old, but in fact we are thousands of years old. And I'm very happy to see that there is a master plan, so at least we know where we are heading to. And I want to assure the directors and all the friends of the museum that this government will not let you down. We will be a partner in that. It's not just about the tangible things you see in the beautiful things around us. It's the intangibles that are so critical as well. That is the true culture. It is, it is the hands and the spirit and the heart and soul that goes into these beautiful objects. And we look and we peer back into what has inspired and driven those things. And we try and use some of that inspiration in the planning process.